Heading out to fireworks shows tonight. You want to keep it forever, but how do you photograph them? Alan Mace is the camera doctor from Nebraska Camera in Kearney. Alan, thanks for joining us thank this you. morning. Let's start with the four things you need to take these good photos. All right, well, thank you, Chris. The first thing you're going to definitely need is a tripod. Okay. Without a tripod, there's no way you're going to get these pictures. You may think you're as steady as they come, but in reality, you got to have the tripod. Right? got to have. Okay. You're going to also need a shutter cable release so that way you're not moving the camera hence the reason for the tripod I see okay we're going to need a camera uh -huh. obviously yes. <laughs> and a wide angle lens important isn't it because a lot of times because that's how you're really going to get the broad view of everything absolutely this picture that we have right here is an example of using a telephoto lens and yes, that looks satisfactory unless you're trying to get all of the foreground in there. Right, okay. So you definitely want to have your lens set to wide angle, and I'll show you how to do that okay. on the camera. Okay, excellent. Yeah, let's talk about those lens settings. We, we've got a lot of automatic settings, but the key is to kind of go manual when you really want to, isn't Absolutely. It? Well, we're going to start with the lens first. You're going to need to take your camera off of autofocus and set it to manual focus. Okay, and from the A to the M there. A to the M, and then at that point in time, you're going to take the lens and physically focus it on something that's quite a ways out there, hence infinity. Right, okay. Another very important thing that you must have is the stabilizer turned off. If you don't th do that, that camera will actually shake on the inside because it thinks there should be movement. Why isn't there movement? And it'll start to dance. It'll blur your photos. I see, okay. Imperative to have that. The wide angle setting on the lens is denoted by these numbers, and what you want to do is set it to the smallest number, in this case 18, Okay. and that way we know we've got the wide angle selected. Okay, so we've got those lens settings going. Now we check the body of the camera and what we want to do here. Absolutely. We want to take the camera and set it to an ISO of 100. So we're going to be right down here to our ISO, and we're going to set this over to the 100 setting. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is set our aperture to a very small number, as small as you can get. In this case, the smallest number we can acquire is 3.5. Okay. And the last setting is our shutter speed, which is going to be bulb. And for complete camera novices, that ISO speed does what? It's uh, That's how sensitive it is to light. Okay. You would think there'd be um, not very much light shooting fireworks, but oh my gosh, are they incredibly bright. So right. 100 works just fantastic. Uh, okay, all right. And we just have a few seconds left here, Alan. Then quickly, let's go over the setting up of the equipment here. Okay, basically you're going to have the tripod, set the camera onto the tripod, aim the camera in the direction of where the fireworks is happening, and you'll have your cable release hooked up to the camera. And when you're wanting to take the picture, push down on the cable release. The shutter stays open as long as you keep the button down. Okay. So if you get a real loud pop, well obviously you're going to leave the shutter open longer to fill up the frame. If you get one of those beautiful ones with the spider web pattern, that might be good just for one picture. Take your finger off, push down again, repeat the process. Great, great tips. Where can people find you at Nebraska Camera? They can go to our website, which is cameradr.com. Okay, Alan Mace, thanks for the great tips. Happy 4th of July Thank to you. you. All Happy. right, stay with us. We're back with more News 5 at 1130 right after this.